one problem. My team is remote and I need to build stronger relationships. Two things to remember. If you manage a remote team, then ensure that you take the time to connect with individuals face-to-face -face using video link. After all, 80% of communication is non-verbal and body language. Take the time to understand individuals' personalities, what makes them tick and what ticks them off. Remember, not everyone is the same. Three practical tips. Listen to what individuals are excited and passionate about so that you can drive tasks in these areas and get the best out of each member of your team. Remember what it is that they enjoy to do outside of work, what hobbies they have or events they go to. Respect their opinion, even if it's different to your own. Encourage them to explain more about their point of view. Four do's and don'ts. Do allocate time to connect with your team. Don't assume that everybody likes to communicate in the same way. Do review and give feedback on individuals' work. And even if you're not physically there, get them to send examples. Don't assume that no news is good news. It's frustrating for everyone to be working on the wrong thing. Five things to try. Set up a video meeting. Go on, do it now. Decide how and when you're going to connect with your team. Make an agenda so that everybody has clear expectations of what's going to happen in the meeting and they understand why you're connecting. Ask open questions such as, what do you think the impact will be? And do you have any ideas on how we can solve the issue? Keep conversations positive solution-driven and encouraging.